I'm Christopher Chen, I'm a neurologist, and I work as the director of the Memory, Aging and Cognition Center at the National University of Singapore. There is an urgent need to improve treatments for Alzheimer's disease because there's a rising epidemic of dementia, mainly due to Alzheimer's disease. This is driven by uh, an aging population. Currently, our treatments are mainly symptomatic. In other words, they may help to reduce the intensity of the memory loss, but they don't affect the underlying disease and therefore do not change the course of the disease itself. NeuroAid has many interesting pharmacological properties. The most relevant to Alzheimer's disease is that NeuroAid has been shown to have effects on the underlying pathology of Alzheimer's disease, namely amyloid and tau. It also does have neuroregenerative properties, which may be important in dementia as well. The Athene study was a small early phase trial, mainly investigating safety. We wanted to see whether the addition of NeuroAid on top of standard treatment for patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease would be safe. So the primary outcome was safety over the first six months. Secondary outcomes included safety over a year. And importantly, whether there was any sign of efficacy in terms of clinical uh, effects such as cognition. The Athene study was designed to try and detect a disease-modifying effect of NeuroAid. We designed a delayed start trial. Half the patients were randomly assigned to start NeuroAid early and continue on NeuroAid for up to 12 months, whereas the other half were randomly assigned to be on placebo for the first six months and then NeuroAid for the last six months. So this gives us an opportunity both to examine safety and perhaps some symptomatic benefit of NeuroAid over the first six months, and then to see if we can detect uh, clinical efficacy and disease modifying effect over the next six months. The primary finding is that uh, NeuroAid is safe to be given to patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease on standard treatment with either acetylcholinesterase inhibitors or memantine or both over six months and indeed over one year. The second important finding is that we could see perhaps some clinical efficacy results. The patients who were early starters were very stable over the first nine months. By 12 months, they had deteriorated a little bit. However, by contrast, the patients who were put on placebo declined and continued to decline and never caught up with the patients who were given uh, NeuroAid to begin with. So this suggests that NeuroAid either has a very prolonged symptomatic effect or, interestingly, it has a disease-modifying effect. Currently, Alzheimer's disease is a much feared disease because many people feel that there is no treatment and that therefore patients diagnosed with this disease will inevitably decline. What we hope to be able to do in the future is to offer people the chance to have early diagnosis, early intervention with appropriate disease-modifying drugs so that we can turn Alzheimer's disease into a less feared chronic disease and therefore enable patients and their families to have healthy longevity.